A few years back, you'd be forgiven for not knowing the name Florence Pugh. However, in a short run, the actress has shown striking range, including starring roles in three very different films in 2019. The star is set to take over Hollywood with her impressive resume, also landing a role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and her anticipated role in the Olivia Wilde-directed film Don't Worry Darling. Florence has risen through the entertainment industry to get where she is all before she reached the twin. Florence has risen through the entertainment industry to get where she is all before she reached the age of 25. Well, if you want to learn more about the story and life of Florence Pugh, then stay tuned because we'll get into all of that and more here for you on Famous Life. Florence Pugh was born on January 3, 1996 in Oxford, England to Mother Deborah and Father Clinton Pugh. Her mother was a dancer and dance teacher while her dad was a restaurateur. She grew up the second youngest of four children in what she calls a wonderfully noisy and creative household full of performers. Her siblings are actor and musician Tony Sebastian who appeared on Game of Thrones as well as her sister Arabella Gibbons who's a theatre actor, comedian and vocal coach, while she has a third younger sister, Raffaella or Raffi. In Florence's active household, she said you needed to shout to have your voice heard. She said about how this shaped her character, I'm quite stubborn and headstrong, adding that more than a few people in the industry had described her as feisty. While Florence was raised in Oxford, she and her family relocated to Sado Grande in Spain when she was three, hoping that the warmer weather would improve her health. As a child, Florence suffered from tracheomalacia, which led to frequent hospital stays. Tracheomalacia results in a partially collapsed trachea, making breathing more difficult. She said of the condition, it's the reason I have a deep voice and why I sound like a goose when I laugh. Florence and her family lived in Spain until she was six years old and then they moved back to Oxford. Even as a child, Florence knew how to captivate an audience. At six years old, she played Mary in a school nativity play and spoke in a Yorkshire accent for the role. Her adopted northern accent entertained the viewers and she even complained about varicose veins as her character. Florence explained, It was the first time I knew the power of being on stage. I remember thinking, oh god, they're waiting for me. They're listening to everything I say and I have complete control. She attended a private school, Witchwood School, as well as St. Edward's School in Oxford, but disliked how the schools didn't support her ambitions to be an actress. Florence said she never believed in fairy tales, but there have been moments in her life when she felt like a character in a book. Once when she was 9 or 10 years old and working in the garden with her mother, her mom decided to read her The Secret Garden. This book was relatable because it told the story of a sickly girl, a lonely house and a magical garden. Florence's respiratory illness kept her out of school for extended periods of time and at home she would help her mom in the garden with chores. Despite The Secret Garden being nothing more than a story, Florence felt like her life might have some magic in it after that, and felt as if she slipped through the book's pages. In any sense, it stuck with her. While that fairy tale feeling would come back time and time again over her rise to fame. As a teen, Florence sang and played guitar to cover songs such as Oasis's Wonderwall on YouTube under the name Flossie Rose. In the videos, she appears in an early 2010s teen girl uniform. Florence had red hair, cat eye makeup, and beaded ring bracelets. It was clear that she would much rather be performing than attending school and struggled to focus unless it was in art classes, which she even admitted herself saying, I just wanted to perform and make music and make pots. Her father, who was once a restaurant worker turned owner and entrepreneur, told Florence to follow her creative pursuits and do it if it's what she wanted to do. Despite this, she still took her mother's advice and finished school anyways. By this time, she had already scored her first film role in the English girls' school drama The Falling in 2014 and Florence never looked back. She was only 17 years old when she landed this role after participating in an open audition. When the director of the movie, Carol Morley, was casting for The Falling, they looked at over 200 young ladies to play the two lead roles in supporting characters at the fictional girls' school. They began with restricting their search to London, but later widened it to Oxford and posted calls for audition tapes around town and on school campuses. Many of Florence's friends in drama class who never auditioned for a real movie were so excited about the chance to appear in one. But Florence, on the other hand, ignored the postings, taking the advice of her elder brother that they always cast someone famous in the end. 
On the last day to submit an audition, her mom intervened and told her she should make a tape, not to believe in miracles, but just to invest herself and go for it. Well, it's a great thing she did because Florence landed a lead role as Abby Mortimer in the thriller about a mysterious epidemic that throws an all-girls school into chaos. Furthermore, Florence went on to be praised for her work in the film. She briefly relocated to Los Angeles when she was cast in a pilot for an American TV show in 2015, but it didn't end up becoming a series. Her negative experiences of LA at the time included the production crew telling her to lose weight, and she realized she didn't really want the role that bad anyways. The casting director of The Falling Shaheen Beg later cast Florence in two other films, Lady Macbeth in 2016 and then Fighting With My Family. Lady Macbeth was a critically acclaimed period piece, and Florence toured the film festival circuit with screenings across the globe. The movie won Florence several nominations and awards, including the 2017 British Independent Film Award for Best Actress. In 2018, Florence played Cordelia in the 2018 adaptation of King Lear alongside legends like Anthony Hopkins. Later that year, she snagged roles in the Netflix historical film Outlaw King with Chris Pine, as well as a part in the miniseries The Little Drummer Girl, where she played an actress who becomes involved in an espionage plot in the 1970s. For this role, her performance received grace. In 2018, Florence also heard that the kings and queens of Hollywood were getting together to make a movie, but she had yet to be in an American-produced film. While this movie was Greta Gerwig's new remake of Little Woman, where Florence would end up working alongside Sayor Ronan, Timothy Chalamet, and Meryl Streep. The following year, 2019, would prove to be the year for Florence. She starred in three very different films that all ended up being major roles, after which she was recognized for having an international breakthrough. First, Florence played professional wrestler Paige in the aforementioned film Fighting With My Family, a comedy drama about Paige's career which premiered to positive reviews at the 2019 Sundance Film Festival. In this movie, she shared the screen with Dwayne Johnson, Vince Vaughn, and more. The role also allowed her to show off her comedy acting chops in a completely contrary performance to the one she would play in the horror flick Midsommar. Midsommar was the second big flick of the year which Florence would star in, a neo-pagan horror film directed by Ari Aster. This disturbing movie follows an American couple played by her and Jack Rayner, who travel to Sweden and unexpectedly encounter a cult. Critics praised Florence's portrayal of the desolate character Danny in the film, describing it as amazingly vivid. Director and writer Ari Aster was also taken aback by the versatility Florence demonstrated in the role, saying, For someone who is not classically trained, she has formidable instincts. I think she can play anything. Filming of Midsommar actually conflicted with the third movie Florence was set to star in, Little Woman, the one which she caught word of a year prior. And yes, she scored the role of the iconic Amy March in the movie, the youngest and historically most disliked of the four sisters in the story. In fact, they even delayed the shooting schedule of Little Woman so that Florence could finish Midsommar. While well, Little Women went on to garner critical acclaim and gross $209 million. Furthermore, Florence's work in Little Women nabbed her Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. With those three major breakout roles in 2019, Florence quickly ascended from being virtually unknown in Hollywood to her current status as one of the biggest rising stars and acclaimed actresses of her generation. Next, Florence would star as Yelena, a spy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe superhero film Black Widow in 2021. The movie received positive reviews as did her distinctive performance. Florence would reprise the role in the Disney Plus series Hawkeye later that year. As for what Florence has in the works, she's set to star in the highly anticipated thriller Don't Worry Darling alongside Harry Styles, and this film marks Olivia Wilde's directorial debut. The movie is set in California in the 1950s and Florence will star as Alice, and she and her husband Jack, played by Harry Styles, are a young happy couple in a seemingly perfect town. This town is paid for by the mystery company Jack works for. In this psychological thriller, Alice becomes curious about her husband's work and it begins to consume her, leading to cracks in their utopian life. This movie is set for release in September 2022. Florence will also star in The Wonder, an adaptation of the novel by Emma Donahue of the same name, and voice a role in the DreamWorks animated movie Puss in Boots The Last Wish. 
She's also going to produce and star in the movie titled A Good Person and will appear in the sci-fi film Dolly and the movie adaptation of the novel The Maid. It said that some other upcoming projects for Florence will be a role in the biographical film Oppenheimer and attached to play Princess Irulan in Dune Part 2, set for release in late 2023. Clearly, the actress has no shortage of work. At only 26 years old, Florence Pugh has proved herself with the resume and film that most only dream of, not to mention she's only getting started. Florence has starred in independent movies and blockbusters, showcasing her talent for playing complex, unique roles with a range from comedy to horror. Well, we can't wait to see what Florence comes up with next. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.